why is it that Ghanaians are not happy that their members of parliament are taking a loan, not a gift, a loan, guaranteed by the state, for them to buy cars, to be able to go about their duties as part of their work. When their colleagues in the ministries, ministers of state, get cars, four wheels, they get saloon cars, judges also get the same thing, those in the judiciary at a certain level. Why is it a, a cause of discontent for Ghanaians, members of the general public, why? It's something the MPs need to avert their minds. Of course, some say that, oh, MPs are low-hanging fruits. They are the ones we know. They are the ones who come to us to seek our votes. They are the ones who promise heaven and earth on earth, that they are come to serve us, you know, integrity, servant leadership, and all of that. And so we must give it to them. But for me, really, the issue lies in the fact that Ghanaians are angry because they are not satisfied with the quality of service being provided to them by, by parliament. That's why they are angry. Because as my member of parliament, if I'm not really seeing what you are doing for me, the bearing of the laws you are passing in parliament, the, the, the bearing of the policies you are actually help bring to light on my life, and we are all saying we should tighten our belts in this post-COVID economy, why should the state be guaranteeing loans for you? When young men with ideas also need the state to guarantee loans for them, for them to start agribusinesses, that will create five, 10, 20 jobs for other young people if government should guarantee these kind of loans for them. You get the point. That's what the members of parliament should be averting their minds to. It's not really because Ghanaians are bothered though. They are bothered because they don't see really the real leadership and the dividends of this leadership or the dividends of the representation system they've put in place for you in parliament here on their lives. That's why they're angry. So it should be a clarion call, it should be a point of reflection for members of parliament to know that they need to do more. They need to be seen to be leading the charge of development in this country. So that when we have to, we've, we've, we've elected and brought you here, if we have to then add the necessary accoutrements, the necessary logistics, including a car, for you to get the work done, nobody will complain. That's where the real issue lies. And that's a wake-up call to Parliament. And members should avert their minds to that. <laughs>